I still wonder what JRPG characters do, because, like, 90% of them don't have a toilet. Yeah, and of course, you know, the question of female characters during certain time periods. Like, I see what you did there. Let's go. Let's do this. You save? I save. I actually have not saved. These plants only heal, they don't save. Whaaaaa? Uh, if we die, it just kicks us back to our base. Fine. I really do like that backdrop there, that's pretty sick. Yeah, that's really cool. I wonder what it is. So are we gonna talk to the queen, or is she just gonna show up and fight her? I don't know. I kind of hope there's something to it other than, ooh, it's just a monster. Uh, oh, it's just a monster. It's just a monster. I kind of thought it would be like an evil queen lady. Mm hmm. Mm. No, but I'm sure that's her. She has a queenly aura. Mmm. Yeah, that radiates queen, alright. Finally get to meet her majesty. Look how big she is. You want her to step on me. We will succeed. I am Lila de Cyrus of the White Fang Clan, and I demand justice. But your how big was your clan? Was it like an entire race? Because... Why can we succeed? Okay. Calm down, controller. Bop. Bop. Oh boy. Alright, time to see how much she hits us for. That's quite a lot. She almost one shot Tao with a single attack. And we are like not doing anything to her. Ow. Okay. Uh, we are not ready for this. That's real sad. Crafted so much. We sure have. And it all amounts to nothing. That's okay, we just get sent back to our hideout like nothing happened. Alright, well, apparently my predictions were correct and that there's going to be a huge power spike at the end of the game. Which means I'm gonna have to grind. Ugh. We'll be right back. Well, I really hate cutting out as much as we did because we ended up doing a lot of side quests and meeting new characters and doing all sorts of stuff, but honestly, it was pretty boring. Hey, yeah, I can, I can agree to that. I was there. It's basically just synthing, talking to this person. Oh, I need this particular item of synth quality whatever, and then you just give it to them, and then it's just... You know, whatever. Basically... And then you shoot some makeup in a cannon. Yeah, and then you shoot some makeup in a cannon, and it's just like... Okay, but even sure. that still wasn't quite as exciting as it sounds. Yeah. So, basically, I ended up crafting the highest level equipment that I possibly can for... Uh, not everyone, because you only get three characters in a party. So, I just chose the original party of three, and I focused on them. I leveled up everyone a few times. Uh, come on, Ryza. Uh, yeah, they definitely leveled up a bit. Yeah, and um, I made Sion. Ryza's immediately dead. Why is she dead? Alright, as I was saying, I got the main threes, best armor and weapons, and I crafted some better items as well, like higher level, better quality items. So hopefully things are good. I've done a couple practice runs of this fight off screen, and I haven't had any issues with the first uh, stage or two. I know this is a multi-stage boss because it kind of did some transforming, sort of. Also, it's a JRPG, technically, and I don't think I've ever seen one of those uh, that wasn't multi-phase. Use items to get some healing. And, yeah, but I mean, the fight's not really that 
difficult. Uh, there's not even really a strategy per se, there's nothing special about it in terms of like, oh, it resists fire, or it's weak dice, or anything. It's literally just a matter of, it has lots of health, and it does quite a bit of damage. So, it just comes down to, are your numbers bigger than their numbers? Which, again, normally I absolutely can't stand in JRPGs, because that's what I find to be most boring about a battle system like this. Because, like, grinding for the sake of making my numbers bigger, it's a glorified cookie clicker. But, again, the way the game is centered around alchemy and not really, like, pure combat or whatever, the grind is, like, part of the story. It's about Ryza becoming stronger. Right. So, it's fine here. It makes sense for a final boss to kind of sort of function this way. It's kind of the ultimate test of, hey, did you actually do what you were supposed to do, which is grind and build better items and all sorts of stuff like that. Quick, heal yeah, yourself, Ryza! There's a okay. lot I'm willing to forgive in a game that I usually wouldn't. It, it can just make a lot of sense as to why it exists or justify itself. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's one of the, my biggest pet peeves in a game. When something is there and it makes no sense and they don't try to justify it at all, and it's just there because video game and video game should have a certain thing in it. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not sure what a good example would be, but there are like plenty of those games where like, they're roguelikes, I suppose is an easy example. And they're just roguelikes because they're roguelikes, like there's no story justification at all, and that's just how it is. Right, yeah, you just go in, you fight stuff, and then... You fight stuff for the sake of fighting stuff, and then the fighting stuff makes you stronger so you can fight fighter stuff. Yeah, and there's not even a reason why anything's like that. It's just how it is, because it's a roguelike game. Yeah. I find that kind of stuff to be pretty pointless, too. Like, I mean, I guess it's fine if you kind of like grinding. Like, I mean, usually there's the really basic explanation, again, if it's a roguelike. I don't know why I'm on roguelikes. That's just the first thing I could think of. Of, like, oh, the dungeon changes because of magic. And I guess that's enough justification for some people. But I would like a better explanation mm -hmm. than just... Uh, magically shifting dungeon. Like, again, I think the ocean is a good place for a roguelike because the ocean is so vast and big and deep that you can't really feasible, feasibly explore all of it. Oh, she looks cool, by the way. Yeah, she does. She looks like uh, something from Kamen Rider. Mm hmm. Yeah, she looks like she's from mm -hmm. Kamen Rider or Power Rangers. I like the wings. Mm -hmm. Eh, you know what? Might as well just go and use my fatal drive. Ooh, anime. Look at all the sparkles. It's definitely really difficult to work your way up to this fatal drive because it's hard getting tactics level 5. Especially, like, whenever a character dies in battle here, I will you have lose order. A tactic level. Like, losing a whole tactic level in addition to losing a character, it's just rough. Like, if you notice, I, I know I've only been playing Ryza in this particular fight, but uh, I don't have any KO restoring items on any of my party members here. Right. My strategy is, if someone's down, then I just restart the fight. Because, in my opinion, losing someone is already such a bad thing in, in this battle system because you lose the tactics level. You lose so much progress that it's better just to start over. Uh, th that ice bomb I made, that thing is really strong, especially when I combine it with Ryza's ability to buff herself in items. Like, I'll go and do it now. Increases damage of core items. Ooh. And then let's go ahead and do a quick action because it looks like I'm going to have to heal myself. So let me convert this, because I don't really need that. Heal myself first, and then I'll throw an ice bomb at it. Also, Lent is really tanky. Yeah, I can see that. 
Alright, this thing's almost broken. I kind of hope it goes super, like, right now. So that I can... Easily break it. Easily. Well, it's already broken. Alright, well, there's nothing I can really do against that. Uh, I guess I'll just try and grind out as many uh, tactics levels as I can in the meantime. I'm really tempted to hit tactics level 5, but I know the second that I do, she is immediately going to, like, start going into her super move. And I can't have that. So I need to have a bundle of AP ready so that I can do a quick action, so I can try and break her. Alright, there, there she goes. goes. Alright, so my attack goes off, and now I should be able to quickly do a quick action. I guess that's why they call it that. Alright, this. Uh, do another Eclipse Javelin, because it's just my strongest move. Alright, she might break. Oh, right, she's totally gonna break. Alright, I think I got it. Okay. Oh. And I'm tactics level 5. Oh, that's neat. That actually kind of went up on its own. Each hey, character only gets hell. one fatal drive. This is the first time I've seen his. Giant hammer. Bonk. No. Heavenly Bubbles! Ow, 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 ow. Okay, are we gonna live? Okay, we lived. Uh, is she gonna be dead? Right, quickly heal, and then tactics level up, and then Tao might die. Oh, no, he didn't. Good. Let's heal him up. Out of core charges again. That's fine. I can convert something else I'm not using. Quick, heal up one last time, just in case. You never know. Something could go wrong, like right at the last second. And that's it. Woo! I think we did it. Woo! Unless there's somehow, like, another phase after this. But this was the third phase. Usually a boss doesn't go beyond three. And we did get the victory. Oh my gosh. Whew. We did it. We saved the cosmos. Did we all survive? I don't know, did Whoa, I? Oh, <laughs> did we? I guess you did, but Tal and Impel. Oh no, they're dead. Uh, nah, they're fine. We did it! Lila's boobs protected her. That's a lot of armor. She's wearing uh, a bra, you know, battle ready oh, armor from Kids Next red. Door. Uh, is the queen gonna speak at all, or is she just an obstacle? Is she just big bad evil thing? The glow is different. Warrior's Badge, Felucia, Sanctuary, Clint Kingdom. Everything's coming together. She needs grab a brain the glowing blast. Bit right now! Why, do we, why can't you grab the glowing bit? After we get back to Kilo. Wait, who's Kilo? Oh, is Kilo the other Lila chick? Um. You know, it would only take you half a second, Ryza, to explain. Instead of letting everyone be all like, Hey, why do you want me to grab this? I think it took longer for her to say I'll explain later. No need to thank us. We were being selfish. Mm, well, I mean, a little bit. We so were, all, we were all the bad guys all along. Well, we kind of knew that already. Clint Kingdom's power source could be ours for the taking. Have we learned nothing? So we beat the final boss, but this is a game where combat is not the focus. So of course we're gonna have to actually end the game with synthesis. Synthesis. Did you just laugh? Who laughed? I had no idea you had such a cute laugh. Aww. She's teaching me traveling tips. Um, what does that even mean? Yeah, sure. Whatever you want to call it, buddy. 
So, they're a thing. Yeah, I like how Lila keeps denying Empo. Like, yeah, no, we're not a thing. Stop spreading rumors. But yeah, then yeah, she uh, ends up spending all this time with Lent. I need to make story. Tell me what's wrong. What am I missing? I can't believe we beat the final boss and there's still more to do. Investigate the underground bunker one more time. <sighs> okay. Since you asked me so nicely. Hmm. Yep, it's the underground bunker, all right. We'll figure out the recipe. But uh, I thought we figured out the recipe. Yeah, I thought he said we read a book on it or something. It works. Look at all, all the sparkles. Right. So tons of sparkles. I can boost quality and quality, uh, synth quality. If I... All right. So boost after all this time, the island lasts longer if you have higher quality. I don't know. Uh, to be honest, I still don't really know what the difference between regular quality and synth quality is. I always know, like, all the synthesizing I've done so far in the game, I still don't really know the difference between the two. So, yeah, that's a thing, I guess. Sure. Throw this in, sure, why not. Effect spread, sure, why not. What does this do? Effect spread, oh man, but I don't have any dragon eyes. That's a red stone, huh? Yep. Well, it's technically a picture of a red stone. <laughs> it's a PNG. It's a PNG. It's a pung. A pung. Ping no, I don't want to go back to the drawing board. It made Ryza sad. Gotta stir the piss one more time. Get up one all the... more unicorn piss stir. You gotta stir up all the powder that settled at the bottom of the cauldron after all this time. I wonder if an alchemist pot is kind of like a cast iron pot. You know how like whenever you cook with a cast iron pot for years and years, it gets better because it has like, it's soaked in all the salt and flavorings and seasoning. And meat juice, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if an alchemist pot is like that. After years and years of throwing magical items into it, does it like just get better? I would have to imagine you don't need to wash it because I imagine that's just too much work for Ryza. Also, it's been the same pot of unicorn piss since it started. Mm -hmm. I did it. For real this time. Really? And I can tell it improved. Somehow. It's a higher even pixel it looks quality. Like, even though it looks like the same ping. Ready. Come back to life. Come back to life! Are we gonna Pikachu tier this thing? Woo! We. Life! Dun, 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 dun. You got a power star. I mean, uh. You got a big red orb. Go and be proud of what you've achieved. Yay! What is Isn't advanced technology great? No real figuring out of schematics. Where, where's Lent? Did he not want to watch our achievements of making sure everyone doesn't drown? He's off answering the booty call. The booty call. No, she's there. Where's uh, his booty at? Uh, he's probably beating up his dad. You ask Bose, who is just learning a sword, to come out here and deliver the artifact. So, do you want him to die? Yes! Put it back. Is that a hammer? That's but Taos. Ta yeah, I was gonna say Taos got a hammer. Hiya! Hurrah. Wow. What do they do? I don't know. He banged the hammer and now there's water here, I guess. Did he bang the whole ground? She took her hood off. That's a big deal. She's so cute. It's like when an anime character cuts off their hair. So we're back so that's to where we were. That's the only thing that's changed. So we're back to where we were at the beginning of the game, except now we can do alchemy. Perfect. I was hoping for some kind of reward, like not getting yelled at by mom anymore. Well, you know what would have been a great way to not get yelled at by mom anymore? Is if you let her drown. No. But basically it looks like everyone's leaving Ryza so she can keep living her boring farm life. Wow, she did all this for these people, and they're just gonna leave her on this crummy island. 
Couldn't find the right time to tell you. Well, we kind of had bigger things to do. Yeah, we had more important stuff than Mother of Fruit Girl stays in town. Please don't say you need my help with anything. I'm too depressed. Since when have we caused trouble for anybody? Goodbye. Uh, I'll give uh, Ryza some credit though. She's not like a reactive protagonist. Like, you know how most JRPGs, like the evil villain is already evil and big and in power and doing nasty stuff. And like, the protagonists always have to save the world. Well, here, we didn't really have to save the world. We kind of took steps to prevent the world from having needed to, to be, be saved. saved. We were proactive, not reactive. That wasn't we it. stopped the villain before they were a threat. Mostly. Mostly. But yeah, that was pretty nice. I like that. He just has such a mean looking face. Like, if you saw a guy like that in real life, and he claimed to be a merchant, like, would you buy something from him? Nope. Like, usually you gotta have kind of a friendly disposition and outlook for someone to want to buy from you. Like, that's why Billy Mays was so successful. Like, he was just a really good, personable, kind of sounding guy. Well. Oh. He and so, Tao. Yeah, literally the only one that's staying here is Ryza. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, what is she gonna do? She's gonna be so lonely. She'll have to figure out how to game. make her atelier uh, portable. Victory animation! Oh, this is the first time he's been here. Hmm. Bright future! Wee! Except for me! Except for me! Wow, everyone looks so excited. Did anyone ever want to invite her to come with them? Yeah, what are you gonna do, Ryza? I guess I'll be a farmer! I think you just be the village alchemist. I predict the island will lose power in a hundred years. So you could just mass produce a few crystals and just change them out every so often. Ha 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 ha. Oh my gosh, that's the end? Yep, that should be it. Too bad Bose isn't in the graphic. We just... we leave Ryza all by herself when everyone leaves? Yep, Ryza's just gonna stay here and keep being an alchemist in addition to being a farmhand. Everyone else gets to go off and do their life. She's stuck here. I mean, I guess she said she wanted to be an alchemist, but she also didn't want to be on this island. Yeah, she wanted to go out and explore, I thought. Would it be okay if we dropped in? So they're just gonna visit. It's our secret hideout. We better be able to come here secret in a second. Secret hideout! Room. They said it! They said it! They said the thing! That's the end. The end though. Fin. On an ordinary island called Kurkin. In an ordinary village called Rosenboden. Oh, hey, that's she that shit. helps her. Lived in an extraordinary life. <laughs> Throwing a bomb. And fought to protect an ordinary one. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm Rosalind Stout, but everyone calls me Ryza. You mean Rosalind Thick? Rosalind Thick. I'm a normal farmer's daughter and an alchemist. Everyone come back to visit so soon? Or is this a flashback? Well, she's still playing her corn, so this has to take place post-game. 
I'm in my alpha years, right? Oh, their my memories. And my adventures and the things alchemy taught me. It might seem kind of boring to some people. Like people who don't want to play Altelier games. But it's the start of another wonderful, exciting day. To splash in the water. And breathe in salt air. Under the deep blue sky and the summer sun. I look out into the distance far, far away. And all the bloom in my face! Someone go into those settings and turn those down. Oh, that was pretty good. Want, like if I want, if somebody likes donuts, I want to watch them eat a donut. Yuri Noguchi and a bunch of other people. Yeah. For a second, I thought that said Koji Kondo. I was <laughs> like, um, why would he voice act? Sure. But yeah, that was pretty good. I really hate that we've slept on the Atelier series for so long. I poked fun, but yeah, I really liked it. It was a good game. Though to be fair, the the main reason why I haven't picked them up sooner is they very rarely go on sale, and when they do, they're still pretty expensive. Like forty bucks. Expensive. Like forty bucks expensive, which I mean I know for a game, especially one of this length, isn't actually that much money, but for me, you are very. Very cheap. I am very, very cheap. Like I still don't have Elden Ring because he won't let me get it because he's like it's because Elden expensive. Ring's not on sale yet. It's not going to go on sale. It's a FromSoft game. Well, then if you're lucky, in two years it might be ten dollars off. Well, then we can get it in two years. But yeah, uh, if a game is over 20 bucks, that's like, whoa, whoa, buddy, hold on. Uh, you sure you don't want to rethink that price just a little bit? Have you ever bought a game at full price on Steam? Yes. Except for Blue Reflection when 2. When you say Blue Reflection, well, Blue Reflection 1 and Blue Reflection 2. No, Blue Reflection 1 was a little on sale. Oh, uh, was it on sale? It was a little on sale, because uh, okay. I told you about it, and, you, and I was like, this is a game you're gonna like. You should get it. You should get it right now. It's on sale. It's like 40 bucks instead. And then you were like, fine. And then what happened? You played it and it's one of your favorite games ever now. Well, I almost bought World to the West at full price because when it launched for the channel and I had to play it, it was like 10% off when it launched. That's not full price? No, but I mean 10 percent. That's also, like it's not nothing. a $60 game. No, it's not. But yeah, anyways, hopefully some of the other games in the series go on sale soon because I would like to pick up some of the older games. We got Rise Maybe. of 2 and we're going to, we agreed to get Rise of 3 once it comes out. Yeah, once 3 comes out in what? February? February, yeah. Yeah, that's not much time now. It's almost Christmas when we're recording this episode. So, we don't have much time to get through 2 and then be able to play 3. Well, we'll manage. Yeah, we'll manage. Although, I do think we'll play through 2 completely on our own. And then that way, when we let's play it, we'll at least know what we're doing. Unlike this I one where so. we kind of had to cut out half of everything. Yeah, I'm kinda I mean, hoping. Rise of Two is still probably going to be kind of grindy because it's an Atelier game. So there's still going to be a lot that we'll end up cutting out, but we'll at least know what to cut out. Yeah. We'll know what we have to do and make and... Also, we should be better at the battle system. Well, I think they change it. Yeah, I think each game's different. Like, I think even the battle system from 3, from what they've shown off, is supposedly different than what it is in 2. Mm hmm So, that's interesting. Can you think of any other game series that, like, radically change the combat in between sequels? Like, straight-up game sequels? Yeah. Technically, Symphonia 2, I would say, changed drastically. Drastically? I wouldn't say drastically. Pokemon, basic, boring, awful Pokemon. 
Well, yeah, the party members were Pokemon instead of actual people, but the combat system itself was basically the same. If you want to call that the same. Well, I mean, it's way worse. But mechanically speaking, it's the same combat system. Well, it has the 360 run around feature that Symphony didn't want to have. Okay, so it has an additional thing, but it's still the same system. I mean, I guess. You still run around on a straight line, you still have your normal attacks, and you still have your arts. And you still pause to bring up your items. Was 10 2 different? 10. Yeah, 10 2 is different than 10. Because ten, Final Fantasy X-2 was an uh, active time battle, instead of just purely turn-based. Right. <clears throat> Which, by the way, I do not like active time battles. I, If you're going to have a turn-based game, it should be turn-based. And if you're going to have a real-time action game, it should be... So you didn't like Rise's be... battle system? Well, Rise's, Rise's battle system is a bit clunky for me. I eventually got the hang of it, but I still feel like I'm never fully in control of everything. Oh, the bloom! Oh no, it's back. Can't even see your face. You really can't. I'm surprised, and now I'm smiling. Maybe she heard something and we didn't hear it because we have the I don't headphones have the headphones on, in. so yeah, it's she probably heard something. It looked like she was surprised. Maybe her friends dropped by. Yeah, they might have called out to her or something. Which would open the game up for a uh, post game. Okay, that's what it says. Post game now. Mm-hmm. New events will be added after the ending. So yeah, there is technically some create stuff to do. Save. I think we'll do that later. Like after use a we new do save slot. Games. Create. Yes. Yeah. We'll we'll come back to this game because I mean we have that whole DLC island that we didn't do. Mm -hmm. So I mean, there's still stuff to do in this game, and we'll come back to it eventually. Kind of like how we'll come back to Sonic Adventure. Yeah. Like eventually, we'll we'll revisit games. But for now, I think that's going to do it for this one. Oh boy. Oh, though. Oh, what is Tal doing? Um, I don't know. Oh, is he riding on Lent's shoulders? I, I mean, he like is piggyback? on top of Lent, but I can't tell if it's... He, he doesn't look natural, is all I'm saying. No, it looks almost like it's glitched. Alright. Well, that's one way of ending the game. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys have a blessed day, and we'll see you in the next one, whatever it is. Have a blessed day.